my loves and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Anita and for your returning stuff thank you so much in this channel we talk about handbags and occasional vlogs lifestyle and then also sometimes we do unboxing on this channel so if you guys like that subscribe down below so in today's video we're gonna be talking about my first ever Chanel handbag which is the Chanel 19 in the large size stay tuned so you guys can know why I wanted to purchase this bag my thoughts after having it almost for two years what do I like about it? What do I hate about it? What the price range was on this bag two years ago? And my thoughts on selling the handbag. So stay tuned because we're going to be talking all about that now. This is the handbag. So this is my Chanel 19 in the large size. I got her around two years ago. It was um, like two days before Mother's Day of 2021. So she's just coming up to two years old. And what I liked about this specific like handbag is that it has the mixed metals so as you can see it's gold and also has kind of like a, like a shiny silver metal so it is very pretty and then i know now what they've been doing is kind of like the reverse so instead of like the gold here in the center they've been doing like the silver which is really nice but i really like the gold and how it pops out with the black so i believe she is lambskin i am not too confident in that but she is buttery smooth so look at that you can literally flex your tie you want and she looks brand new, as you can see. And I've had her for two years. And I used to use her as my diaper bag whenever I wanted to like take like a few diapers, um, maybe like a bottle or two. Um, when they weren't like too big, I would stuff them in there. And then my things, I would just put it in the back. So that's kind of like a little hint. Diapers will fit at least like two small little bottles and wipes. And then like a little snack, I want to say. That you kind of in there. I'm gonna show you the interior. So leather here, as you can see, the interior is red. She has a semi-long strap, which will fit good right here. So it is very comfortable because since it is padded, but the thing is, it will slide because the chain weighs so much. That is one. Point. So I want to say like for like the price range, it kind of varied maybe between like 4500 to I think max like 5600 I don't know like the actual price that I paid because it has been two years. I didn't get the receipts. Um, so sorry about that. That is not like something specific. But I have seen like a lot of resellers that sometimes they even go like for even more. And honestly like for the black and then this size, many people really like this one. But I know that more people prefer the smaller size. So it's just a tad little smaller. There's, I think, maybe like a hundred or two hundred um, dollar price difference on them. I know for me, I liked it this size more than the smaller for sure. And that was back then. And originally, I wanted to get the maxi, but at least in my store, there weren't any at all. Uh, it is a smaller store uh, for Chanel. So I know they don't have like too much like inventory at all. It's like first come, first serve. And sometimes you have to like even order them, but honestly i don't know because i don't like really follow too much like chanel um you know like the hype on it for me i really like louis Vuitton, um dior fendi those are more like my preferences of stores but for chanel it, this one it come out in that moment it was something that i really really wanted to add to my collection two years ago why did i choose black it is never bad to have a black handbag a staple in a handbag collection and also if you wear dark clothes like say like jeans that stain no matter how many times like you wash them at all this is not going to get stained so pretty much that's what i like honestly i would really love to take care of my handbags but i also like to use them that's the thing so i prefer things that don't like tend to stain especially if i'm going to wear like jeans um or leggings and you know it's going to be black so i really don't want anything to like get stained at all and this is hard wearing so honestly like i've seen like if you scratch it you can kind of like rub your fingers to it and it'll kind of like melt away so honestly like there's no scratches on the bag whatsoever and i've nicked it just a little bit but i've been able to like rub it out so that's what i really like about this leather in specific so let's see my pros and cons now so pros are it is a beautiful bag it is stunning honestly it is one of the like most beautiful handbags that i have in my collection for sure and i really love the colorway that for me is something positive another pro would be hmm let's see um, like I stated, I used it like a diaper bag uh, when my daughter, she was smaller. So I want to say I got a kick out of that. It is hard wearing. That's another pro. 
it doesn't stain at least like the outside the interior is something else but that's normal whenever it comes to fabric and i think that's pretty much is kind of like the pros that i want to like state the other hand the cons this handbag alone i think it weighs like three pounds it weighs i'm not gonna like take that off so anything that you add to it is gonna add to the weight as well so if you don't like anything too heavy i don't recommend it honestly another con is it's not the most comfortable to wear and i'm talking about this size in specific i don't know about the small um but i think like for like the size of how it'll like fit on you i don't recommend it at all it's gonna be sliding even though it has this like padded leather on here just with the weight of it sometimes like this is not like me not even like putting any effort it just slides off so i mean if you want to wear something that's not gonna allow it to like slide off too much maybe like something that's a little bit like more cotton and not like something like thin or something slippery like at least clothes wise honestly don't even wear the honestly don't even wear the purse i don't recommend it it always slides so sometimes i have to crossbody and sometimes i just don't want to crossbody i want to wear it on my shoulder so that is something that honestly is like a deal breaker i recommend going into the store and you know trying it out Another con is it doesn't have feet. So wherever you place it, your handbag is gonna be either on the table or if you're gonna put it on the floor, which I don't think that you'll put it on the floor, but if you do, it's just, you know, it's gonna be rubbing. So well, I know a lot of people, they don't like that. So what they get is a little clip, the handbag, so it can actually like rest on the table, which is really smart. I had one in the past, but the one I guess that I had wasn't too good. So it ended up like breaking like after a few tries. <laughs> So I would definitely recommend if you do that, those are kind of like the little options that you want. And you know, that's just kind of like a little warning. It doesn't have feet at all. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably recommend just like cleaning it off a little bit. Another con for some, for me, it's not like a deal breaker is it's not structured. So like I told you, it is super mild. You can fit a lot in here. That is something good, but some people just don't like that. So I definitely recommend getting an insert that they have. Um, I know Samarga has a lot of different like inserts because they buy the bag and they make it according to the bag. I personally don't have them, but I've seen a lot of YouTubers that they've stated that they have Samarga. And honestly, like I trust their reviews on that. Samarga was the first one to ever make uh, inserts for their handbags. So I definitely recommend if you're going to get any handbag that doesn't have like any structure or if you want like organization, I definitely recommend getting one of those. Those are kind of like my pros and cons on the bags. So what are my final thoughts after having it for two years? The handbag is beautiful, but honestly for the price range, how uncomfortable it is and everything, I don't recommend it, at least in this size. Go for the small or go big or go home, go get the maxi if you want to fit like a whole bunch of things in there. But honestly, like for this one, like the middleman, I don't recommend it. It just weighs too much and it's kind of just a little bit too inconvenient. So that leads me into it. I am currently going to be selling this handbag. It makes me sad because this was my Mother's Day gift that I got for myself two years ago. And I've had great memories with it. But the thing is, it's not worth not, like the price range, I want to say now, which what I can get for it. And it just being here and then me just using it like like once a month or once every like two or three months it's not the first handbag that i grab so i can like throw stuff in and go so i'll probably definitely sell this one and i might get like the mean um the small size i'm not too sure yet but i know definitely like the medium size i am not a fan of it who knows maybe one day i'll be a fan of it again but i know currently right now it's been a while and i just don't gravitate towards her so that's why definitely i want to sell her just for that reason, I want someone else to be able to enjoy the handbag as much as I used it in, the, you know, like in the moment. So I'll probably think about it getting like a smaller uh, size in the Chanel 19 because for me, I prefer the Chanel 19 like how it is all over instead of like the classic flap for sure. Because a lot fits in here. It is very comfortable like how it is structured because a lot of stuff fits here and here. But the thing is, it just weighs too much. So I think maybe down the line, I'll get the small size and, you know, like. It'll fit my necessities on what I want. Um, and this one, it goes above and beyond like with spacing. But for me right now, it is just not worth it. I know a lot of people will probably disagree 
or I'll just roll a green. But that is just kind of like my opinion right now after having it for two years. Alrighty guys, so I hope that you guys enjoyed my content that I made today. So a disclaimer, I'm going to be posting videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I finally have a set schedule of when I want to post my videos. So I hope that you guys really enjoy that. Um, as you guys know, this is a work in process. <laughs> it's a work in progress. So I just want to say have a good day, night or evening wherever you guys are. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.